So the plan for the next couple of days is one, to relax, and two, to explore the marches. Hi, I'm Zoe. And I'm Simon. And since our first trip together over a decade ago, we've taken every opportunity we can get to travel, explore new countries and try new food. In this video series we are flying to Italy for a two-week trip to eat lots of great food while also exploring Italy's countryside by car. After three great days of sightseeing and eating our way through Rome, it was time to jump in the car and head to our next destination, the Marches. When we were doing research for our trip, we found that the marches are still unknown to many tourists, but the people that do visit tend to fall in love with the region and its beautiful coast, medieval hill towns and lots of culinary specialities. And after settling into our beautiful and very relaxed accommodation that was pretty much in the middle of nowhere, we were ready to explore some old towns. We are driving to Ascoli Piceno now, which is a little town and they're supposed to have a really nice piazza, just like the, the middle of town. So how's driving in Italy? It's great, very organized, um, not stressful, more like a relaxing kind of experience and uh, almost like a spa treatment, I would say. <laughs> yep, we're standing. We're now in Ascoli Piceno, which is a cute, very old town from the 13th century. And food-wise, they are known for frying everything, even their drinking water and the air. And they are the inventors of a dish that I can't pronounce right now, but it's fried olives and they come in different flavors as well. And we can't wait to try them. a little tasting basket here of the fried Ascoli olives and also some other fried stuff like potatoes. I think we have zucchini. Let's try this. Mm. It's good. I mean I love olives in general so it's, I'm very easy to impress. <laughs> Most of the time frying makes things better and this is also the case here with the Ascoli olives. It gives them a nice crunch and the meat in the middle also adds some nice flavor and texture as well. It's like a good mix of the three different textures. But the olive is still in focus, which I really like. Here we have a black one, which I guess is a truffle version. Mm. The truffle taste really comes through. And, well, apart from that, it's the same, same thing, but very delicious. I think this is the one with only vegetables. Mm. It has like a pesto in it. I think the truffle is my favorite. Then this one and then the original because I don't know I'm not that big fan of different meats mixed together. We also have some potato crisps in there and I don't think they're um, Ascoli Piceno speciality. I think I've eaten them before somewhere. But yeah, they're not bad. Can't go wrong with those. No. What's that? They do fry everything here. Yeah. Hmm. I think it's a leaf. A leaf? Yeah. From like, a tree? Uh, I think it's sage. But isn't but sage these tiny leaves? Maybe it's a big, big sage leaf. <laughs> How is it? It's good. It's different. Okay. That was good. Well, that completes our basket, except for these here. And in this town, another cool thing is that they have free bathrooms and they're directly next to 
Apple's headquarters, which is quite interesting. Let's try this. I have tiramisu and Ferrero Kiss, or Bachi as they call it here, and it looks amazing. Tiramisu is really good. So I read that the Nutella flavor is supposed to be really good and the ice cream is melting already. <laughs> so let's give this a try. It's Nutella and then also this green looking stuff is also Nutella but with pistachio flavor. Mm. That is straight up Nutella. <laughs> it tastes as if I'm eating cold Nutella. Um, tastes really nice. But, Nothing wrong with that. But it also tastes like a mistake. <laughs> hey, let me try. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> this is no ice cream, this is just Nutella. So we've been walking around a bit here in Ascoli Picchino and with these little towns you never quite know when you're finished or when you've seen everything but we don't have that much time left here in the marches so we've decided to go to our next stop which is Ripa Transone and it's also supposed to be a cute little town. I think we'll have dinner there, we've already looked at some nice restaurants and let's go! We're on a very steep and narrow way up the hill uh, to Ripa Transone and it was not an easy way <laughs> but I think we've made it to a bigger street and we've actually found a spot to park which is quite rare in these little Italian towns Where's the street? <laughs> the sign stopped. Found it. This is the narrowest alley in Italy. I can barely fit through. <laughs> <laughs> The viewpoint here in Ripa Transona and the view is absolutely amazing. You can see so wide and so far. Ripa Transona is exactly how I've painted an old Italian town in my head. It's very beautiful and picturesque and it has a lot of nice alleys that you can just wander around in. It also has the narrowest alley in Italy and some really nice viewpoints. So we only recommend you to come here. I think it's even more beautiful than Ascoli Picchino where we were earlier today. And yeah, now I hope we'll find a good restaurant to eat some pasta. And while we were struggling to finish our portions that were more suited for a pre-marathon carbo load, we did have time to reflect on our first day in the marches. And we could already see why people fall in love with the region. It definitely feels as if tourism isn't as prominent yet, which makes for a great local atmosphere. Also, the hilly landscape gives you stunning views and we were already looking forward to exploring the coast the next day.